Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Sunday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is April the 24th, 2016. Today is also known as Pig in a Blanket Day. Okay. All right, Earthquake Report time. Here we go. As of 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in only 119 earthquakes. Yes, 119. This is a stark contrast to what we have experienced not only this week, but when compared to this time last year. A year ago today, we clocked in 385 earthquakes, two of which fell within the magnitude 6 scale. We had a 6.2 that struck Bella Bella, Canada, and a 6.1 that hit New Zealand. Also, Ferndale, California, was hit by a fairly substantial 5.4. Interesting. This brings our weekly total to 286 and our monthly total to 6,850. As it stands, we have experienced movement in and around multiple plates including the Pacific, South American, the North American, Caribbean, Australian, Eurasian, and Scotia plates. The most intense to strike the globe today was a 5.5 that originated from Bristol Island, care of the South Sandwich Islands. Indonesia experienced the second most intense, this being a 5.2. Tokopia, Chile clocked in a 4.5, as did San Antonio de los Cabres, Argentina. Japan has been eerily quiet, as they have only registered one today, a 4.3 in Ozu. Then a Doi Island, Fiji, has also experienced one earthquake. This too was a 4.3. Russia, care of the Eurasian plate, has clocked in a 4.3 as well. Speaking of Russia, the tallest, most active volcanic mountain in Asia erupted once again today. We are speaking of the Klyucheskiya Spoka. The eruption was detected by seismic sensors and satellite images show that the eruption column rose 3.7 miles above sea level. The volcanic ash cloud has spread over an area of almost 13,500 square feet and it has drifted 124 miles southeast toward the Pacific Ocean. This volcano, which stands at 15,580 feet, has been rumbling to life since the beginning of April. It has been almost completely continuously active for the past 50 years, but the number of tremors and ash eruptions have been on the rise lately. I have to say, that is truly one iconic looking volcano. Wow, it is beautiful. If we look at the states, we see that Hawaii has experienced 11 earthquakes thus far, 8 of which struck the volcano. The strongest to hit this area was a 3.2. Interesting. Alaska has been, for the most part, quiet. Only 26 have registered thus far. The most intense to hit was a 3.7 just outside of Chicknick Lake. No unusual swarms have been currently experienced. Washington has five on the books thus far, four of which struck Packwood. All of these earthquakes have been incredibly minor, the strongest being a magnitude one. This morning, a 3.4 struck Lakeview, Oregon. This has been since followed up with a 2.2 and a 1.6. California has clocked in only 43 thus far, the most intense being a 2.8 that struck Chester. The geysers have experienced their typical swarm activity, with 14 originating from this area. Nevada has experienced 17 today. That falls right in line with their average. The strongest to strike the Battleborn State was a 3.4 that struck the Gerlach Empire moments ago. Oklahoma has been fairly inactive. Only one earthquake to report today. This was a 2.9 that hit Perry. The New Madrid Seismic Zone experienced some movement today as well. This was a 1.8 that felt right along the Missouri-Tennessee border. This has definitely been an interesting weekend, especially considering that many have been fearing the worst as the globe has been batted around by solar weather and powerful CMEs. Speaking of which, it was reported this morning that the Earth's magnetosphere collapsed today for a duration of two hours. If you aren't familiar with this, the magnetosphere shields the planet from solar winds and some radiation. It is believed that when something this pivotal occurs to the Earth's magnetic fields, it can trigger earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and unpredictable tides. Hmm. With this being said, if you haven't already done so, I urge you to prepare for the worst. Perhaps prepare a bug out bag of sorts. Basically a portable kit that contains items one would require for at least 72 hours of survival. 
With the Earth changing as it is, amongst other things, it's probably a good idea. With space conditions the way they are, along with the potential for mounting seismic pressure, an earthquake watch has been issued for the next few days. And that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah! Hoorah!